Hey, hey y'all. I'm Sarah. I'm Paul. And we're the Go With The Flow couple. And if you, if this is the first time that you're seeing our channel, welcome. And um, we'd like to tell you today where we are and what we're going to do. We're at Withlacoochee River Park. It's a county park here in Pasco County, just outside of Dade City, Florida. Yep. First time we've ever been here. And uh, coming in yesterday, we did, we followed our Garmin and it did take us down a dirt road for about three to five miles but it wasn't a bad road and we did find out once we got in here that there's a hard road that goes all the way to dade city yeah so when we leave here we're taking the hard road out we're not going back down that dirt road <laughs> no the uh, the cats did not appreciate no, the dirt road they didn't they didn't at all and Flo got a little dusty so did your truck so did mo <laughs> yeah Flo and mo both got dusty <laughs> but we're gonna just kind of explore around today. We're gonna we're gonna show you some of the things about the campsite. There's 16 uh, RV sites here in the park. Uh, they can accommodate our rig without any problem. At least this one can. Probably about five of the sites can accommodate larger rigs. Uh, if you don't know already, Flow is a 40 foot fifth wheel. Uh, it's a Columbus Compass, and so we didn't have any problem getting in. We got one of the three pull-through sites. Mm -hmm. And it is late November. We're going to be here through the... Wednesday. We're, this is this is Monday. We'll be here till Wednesday. And so there was no problem getting in. The, the, the park is not very full at all. Uh, um, the ranger did say on the weekends they tend to be, you know, a lot, a lot more full. But during the week, there's not very many people here. That's right. And in addition to the regular campground, they also have what they call the open field that has probably 40 30 amp hookups uh, and it's first come first serve. Yeah, so this is quite a large uh, campground. There's a lot to do. They have a couple of playgrounds and then of course um, a trail that several trails. There's even a paved trail. So we're going to be checking those out, see what those are like. And uh, we, depending on the weather, if it gets a little bit warmer, we might even attempt to go kayaking down the Withlacoochee River. That's right. Now I'll probably be doing most of the work, although that's not always um, much different from what it normally is. Yeah, <laughs> but, um, uh, this is the first time we've been out camping since I was in the hospital with COVID uh, back in August and so it's it's been quite a trial for me to uh get a lot better i'm i'm about 90 percent better still have some issues but doing better that's right so it's good to be back out again and back on the road yep so even for short short trips and and it's nice to be able to come out in the middle of the week it's it's hard to get spots in florida in the winter time on a weekend yeah it is um, but you can find county parks city parks and other locations that you can get to especially during midweek okay so let's go explore the park okay with the river park has um, several old buildings here and this is an old church that was built in the mid 1800s and we're just going to go inside and take a look they're going to make it into a nature center eventually nature and education center but for now it's it's still the old church uh, along with an old cemetery out to the side yeah I, I just saw the cemetery there it looks like it only had three graves in it okay well um this church obviously has been here um, and since the early 1800s because there's an 1837. Well, not, 1900. Oh, I love that stained glass window. Yeah, I saw that That's really nice. But um, it's just a very small building. Not very big at all. Um, I don't know much history. Looks like they do have a place for some book exchange. Anyway, like I said, I don't know the history because there's no sign. <laughs> and the website didn't give much history on it either.
Here's an example of one of the campsites here at Withlacoochee River Park. And you can see it's pretty big. Uh, like Paul said earlier, most of them can accommodate large RVs. This was one of the smaller ones. It's, it's just a 20 foot, recommended a 20 foot site, but you could put something a little bit larger than that in it. The only, um, the only issue is that this park is rather close to a landfill area. Um, but, I mean, it's quiet. <laughs> we haven't smelled anything, so that's no, a good thing. No, we haven't. All right, well, let's keep walking. This park also has activities that they do on the weekends, not every weekend, but for instance, two weekends ago, they had an archery contest. And um, I think next week. Next week is their family. What do they call it? Fishing Fa day. Family fishing day or something. Yeah, family fishing day. <laughs> so you can bring your kids, your nieces, nephews, grandkids, whatever. It's it's fishing here on in the campground, and you don't have to have a license that weekend. Are you sure? Yeah, it's to introduce the kids to fishing. Oh, okay. Um, this white building right here, we were told was the um, astronomy club. And the field right out here is the field that has a lot of campsites on it that are, well, we were told that they are first come, first serve, but then we were also told that you gotta reserve it. So, so you can see why the astronomy club would want their to hold an event out here because this you know it's an open field you can see the sky really well and I'm sure there's not much light out here at night um, so you get a good view of the sky at night. We may have to come check that out tonight. Yeah it's probably gonna be a clear night what you think? I think so. We have to bundle up. Yep. If you've never been here before like we have not been here before um, you might get a little confused about where your campsite is because um, when we were out in the field with, with the campsites those aren't numbered and we we're supposed to be in uh, campsite number five and so we were looking around the field for number five and we just couldn't find it and then a camper the camp, someone that was camping here um, said, oh, well, the RV sites are further back. So we came back into the wooded area and found our campsite. <laughs> yeah, the, the road coming in is not very well marked. So it's you need to know that you go all the way to the end of the road by the field and then come back into the woods to the reserve campsites. They do have a couple of parking areas where you can um, just park your vehicle if you don't have room at your campsite to park it or if you have someone that's coming in for the day like there's a parking area and there's another one on the other side of those bushes and trees they also have two cabins that are for rent and a bathhouse with a shower we haven't been in there and checked that out yet they do they don't have a playground right here at the campground. So if you've got little kids, uh, you have to travel a little ways to go to the playground. But they do have two playgrounds, a large one and a small one. Right. That's at pavilions and other parts of the park. Yeah. Well, the park workers told me that they originally were not going to put a campground here. And then about eight years ago, they decided to open it up. So the other thing is when you come in to register, you have to park at one of the pavilions and walk to the office because there's no RV turnaround at the office. Yeah, we found that out. There is a code uh, to get into the bathhouse though. Um, and they give you give that to you when you check in. And as well as the, it's the same code for the gate at the entrance of the park. As we said earlier, there's lots of trails around here at Withlacoochee River Park, and we are on one of them that goes out to the 
to an observation tower and some of the trails are um, paved, <laughs> paved trails. I couldn't think of the word. And uh, anyway, this is one of them. So we're just going to head out to the observation tower and find See out what we can observe. Yep, what we can observe. We did have to drive down here. It's not uh, right at the campground itself. And there are several <laughs> pavilions available. They have a total of about six miles of trails here in the park. The longest one is a 2.9 mile trail and the shortest one is 0.2. Is this a short one? <laughs> I think so. Look at um, some of these oak trees around here. Yeah, the way they bend down to the ground. Yeah. I love the way the live oaks do that. It's the meadow. I imagine when it's wet season that this is all full of water. Probably first thing in the morning or late in the evening. You might want to catch a deer grazing at the edge of this. observation tower and uh, we're gonna go up there and see what we can see. Well, there's a view of the landfill. <laughs> pretty high up. There's another trail that goes off that way. What do you think? What, height-wise? Or just in general? In general. Mm. That's a good spot for an observation tower. You see different types of trees here, some real dead snags standing up, going through wildlife. That one looks like it came off of that one. <laughs> Stuck in the tree. Okay, so I counted on the way down and there are 68 steps from the top to the bottom. And it was easier coming down than it was going up. <laughs> Good gravity helping. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to head back but down a, a different trail and go back to the truck. <laughs> this is one of the trails we saw from the top of the observation tower. I think I got a picture of it. I got a picture of you standing on it. Alrighty, so we're gonna walk down the trail that goes to the river 
and I don't think it's very far at all, is it? Nope. It's right there. Okay, this sign says, In loving memory and honor of Mitty Wood, a proud Muscogee Creek Indian and founder of Wutlacoochee Native American Indian culture, she and her family and friends have dedicated 21 years of their time and efforts to educate the public about the authentic Native American cultures by producing, promoting, and operating an annual Mother's Day powwow here in Withlacoochee River Park. Our hopes that our hopes are that her death is not the end, but that her legacy lives on through the teachings of the younger generations and those she inspired. We all become wilted leaves on the tree of life, and our children become us in the future. Well, this is an interesting sign. It looks like it might be a um, poem about Withlacoochee River. The Withlacoochee River. Now, with a flow like this, it would not be difficult to have a lot That's pretty with the fall colors on the Okay. So I googled why the Withlacoochee River flows north and it's a common misconception that because of the Earth's forces most rivers flow south, which they do but there are a lot of other rivers that do flow north and the Withlacoochee is one of those rivers. So um, the Rith I found out that the Withlacoochee River um, has its headwaters in the Green Swamp, which is at a higher elevation than um, the river itself. And it flows out towards the Gulf of Mexico. So the uh, green Swamp is to the south of us, so it's a higher elevation, and so water goes downhill, and um, this downhill just happens to be towards the north. And so the Withlacoochee River flows north out to the Gulf of Mexico, uh, down, down near, or up near um, Inglis, Florida. Um, the Withlacoochee River is Florida's third largest river. The Withlacoochee River is Florida's third largest river, and it winds through eight different counties um, over a stretch of about 160 to 180 miles, I believe. Uh, sometimes the Withlacoochee River does flood. Back in 2017, when Hurricane Irma came through, there was a lot of flooding. Uh, in this area, but it doesn't have to necessarily be due to tropical storms. Um, if the watershed gets saturated with water um, because of the rainy season, then the river will flood. So there's, a, there's just a few facts about the Withlacoochee River, and it didn't take long to look them up on Google. <laughs> so um, if you see Paul, he's back there. He's down there fishing, trying to catch 
the fish. I don't know if he will, but he's fishing in a good spot. 